All right, here on the Liberty Flames Sports Network, my name is Nick Pierce. Time now to visit with Liberty Flames running back Harrington Mosley as we get set for the Moorhead State game, the home opener coming up for the Flames here on Saturday night at Williams Stadium. Carrington, appreciate you taking a few moments here for us. Uh, they call you Simo on the team, is that right? Yes, That's your nickname? Sir. Well, we want to see Mo of what we saw on Saturday at Baylor. <laughs> All right, 122 yards rushing. You guys get a win over a Power Five opponent. What's this week been like for you, man? Uh, it's just been unbelievable, to be honest. Uh, you know, I woke up uh, the next morning just saying, "Dang, we beat Baylor." You know, it's it's kind of something hard to really fathom, uh, coming from where we've come from, and after we've put in so much work. I mean, it, it's just like a dream come true. What's I guess, how many texts did you have on your phone when you first got to it for the first time? You know, who was the first person to call you? Uh, well, I had a lot of text. Uh, obviously, my wife had texted me. Uh, my younger cousin, he's a, a up-and-coming quarterback. He's a three-star, four-star coming up in the making. He sent me like four or five texts. Uh, my mom, a couple of people that I've worked with, uh, everybody like that I know from back around the way, they, they all sent me text messages. You've seen Sports Center since then. You've seen ESPN, all the websites, Bleacher Report. List goes on and on. Everyone talking about this Flames program and what it did down in Texas. What does a win like that do for a program? Uh, it definitely lets everybody know about Liberty football and what they have to come in the future. Um, obviously, everybody else thought it was an upset as far as us coming in there and beat Baylor, but uh, we prepared like we. We're definitely on the same stage as them. You know, we didn't come in there thinking that we were underdogs or that they were better than us or we were lesser than them. We prepared just like we were on the same level, and we went out there and showed that we were on the same level with them. And we obviously got the win, and uh, it's just been crazy. Was there a point in the game where it kind of set in, like, forget this Power 5 FBS stuff. We're just going out here playing football and competing with these guys, and we can compete. Uh, I think it honestly came in like with warm-ups. Everybody, when I looked around, everybody was just, you know, calm, cool, just getting ready. Like they all had that mindset in that it's time to go, time to get ready to play the best game of our lives. Uh, I don't think anybody on our team ever really thought like, oh, this is the Power Five. Like um, Baylor, is somebody that you know we should never be able to beat. Everybody was poised, calm, collective, and had that mentality that they were coming in to do something special, and it definitely showed. A coach said after the game, don't let this define your season. We can't let this define our season. What does that mean to you? What does this team have to do going forward to live up to that? Uh, obviously, we just have to put that game behind us. You know, everybody is going to base our next opponent off of the status of Baylor, and we should treat every opponent each week as that they're the best opponent that we're going to face every game. So as far as coming out to practice today, I'm going to let the offense know that, you know, that day is behind us. Today is a new day, and we, have, we face a new opponent this Saturday. So you put all your effort towards the, them as if you would last week. So every day, every game is the most important game, and that's the kind of mentality that we're trying to focus on having each week. So you got Moorhead State coming in here to Williams Stadium Saturday night at 6 o'clock. You're a Brook Neal native. Just down the road from here, about, what, 20 minutes or so? Something like that. Uh, I would say it's about 45 minutes. Okay, a little further than I thought. But uh, uh, LCA product, I mean, you played on this field in high school. How much family are you going to have here this week? How excited are you to, to come out here and start your senior year at home? Well, uh, I actually went to a Labor Day cookout Monday with my family, and I got to see everybody, and they were kind of talking to me about the game and stuff. And a lot of people have been wanting to come see me play for a while now. And being that this is my last year, everybody wants to come. So I've kind of had, like, for roughly between 40 to 60 people ask me if they can come to games, <laughs> in just this game alone as it is. So uh, it's definitely going to be a lot of people who want to come see us play and uh, perform well. You had only one career start before this year, your fifth year senior. Now you're toting the rock here for this offense. What does it mean to you to be able to get this kind of a reward and this kind of an opportunity here this year? I truly think that it's a blessing. You know, I've worked so hard since the first day I've come in here and just bought, like, bought my time and just sat, sat down behind some other guys and learned from them and soaked up everything that I can. And now that it's my time to, uh, take more of a bigger role in our offense is uh, truly humbling and a blessing because the coach, the coaching staff believes in me. Um, it's just a great feeling and something that I'll uh, take with me for the rest of my life. Last thing here, you had 122 yards rushing on 28 carries last week. Big game for you. 
As you go to this week, though, what's it take to follow up on that and to legitimize that Baylor win? Uh, I would just say maximizing all of the opportunities that I have every single day, uh, coming out with the same mentality that I had last week, or even even an intense, more intense uh, mentality, just coming in to improve each week, to get better from last week, and just see how much better I can get every game and uh, every practice and every rep. Simo, appreciate the time. We want to see Mo, okay? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Carrington Mosley with us here. My name is Nick Pierce for the Liberty Flame Sports Network.